Thomas the tank engine was ill. Work and Hat tried to make him better, but it was no use. Edward must take you to the works, said the fat controller. Thomas felt miserable. Then the fat controller sparked a duck. I want you to help Percy and to be while Thomas is away. Duck was delight. He cued Percy and soon made friends with Tubby and Bertie. Terence the tractor gave him a big welcome to. Take care of Thomas cultures, he advised. He's sure to miss them while he's away. Duck was gentle with the cultures. And you and Clarabel were impressed. Such nice manners. They tilted each other. It is a pleasure to go out with him. When Thomas came back, Annie and Clorabel told him how well Duck had managed. Thomas was pleased to be on that he forgot to be Jim House. The words had left Thomas hand brake stiff. It makes made his brakes seem as if they were hard on, when, in fact, they were not. As a result, he and his coaches often overran the platform. Thomas found this most embarrassing. Gradually, his driver and fireman learned to be extra careful. But one day, Thomas' fireman was ill, and a reliefman takes took his place. The fireman had fastened the coupling and joined the driver and station master on the platform to wait for Henry's passengers. The fireman had forgotten all about Thomas Handbrake. Thomas simmered. Not long now, he thought, as he saw Henry approaching. But Thomas brakes were not hard on. And suddenly he felt his wheels begin to move. He tried to stop, but he couldn't without his driver and fireman. He tried to whistle a warning, but he couldn't do that either. The guard, driver, fireman and passengers were all stranded on the platform. Stop, stop, straight and he and Clarable. But Thomas with plenty of steam kept on going. The alarm went out down the line. Stop the runaway. The ready for action was hurled the helicopter. The inspector had made a plan and together they took off into the ski. At last, Thomas was touring. I need to stop, I need to stop, he pant. As they near the next station, Thomas saw Harold land. They entered the platform slowly and moved for the inspector to act. Joking his moment, the inspector scrambled into the cab and screwed the brake hard on. At last Thomas stopped. Both he and the inspector were relieved and they thanked Harold. Think nothing of it, world Harold, glad to be of service, and eat on. Phew, remarked the inspector. We must never let this happen again, Thomas. Wearily, Thomas agreed with him. 